Okay, everybody, welcome back to the show. Can't wait to get into today's Total Wellness Tuesday episode on the Cabral Concept. We're going to be sharing right now on the show exactly how to eradicate mold and mycotoxins from the body. So last week on the show, we talked about where you may be coming in contact with mold, how many houses are affected by this, as well as office buildings and schools, and now, of course, what you can do about it. So I want to take you through a specific mold protocol that we've built over the years that works incredibly well. And it'll be good news for a lot of people suffering from a lot of the symptoms of mold that I shared last week, which could be post nasal drip, weakened immunity, hives, brain fog, skin rashes, uh, and it's really so much more. Because what happens is the mycotoxins, the breakdown from a certain uh, mold based metabolites and compounds, creates these poisons in your body called mycotoxins. And these mycotoxins then begin to imbalance the immune system, inflame the liver, inflame the kidneys, and begin to weaken your mitochondria, which help you produce your energy. So it affects your mood, your immune system, skin, gut health, and so much more. So what I want to do is just take you through what that mold protocol would look like, share with you exactly what we do, and then of course you can work with your practitioner, you can work with your naturopathic doctor, your integrative health practitioner, to be able to walk you through this protocol. Now, some of you have already Already maybe done the mycotoxins test, and you did test positive for one of those 11 based mycotoxins showing you got exposed to mold. Okay, so yes, we're going to do some remediation that we spoke about last week in the home or wherever it might be, but we also want to now help you get it out of your body and support your own body as well. So I'm going to get to the specific mold protocol, but the very first thing we do is we actually help to open the detox and drainage based pathways. So if we think about it, One of the number one organs that these mycotoxins target are the liver and the kidneys, the actual drainage pathways to get these things, these mycotoxins out of your body. And think of myco as mold and the toxins essentially as a toxin. So what we need to do is support those two areas. And so a functional medicine detox that has very specific methylated B vitamins, it has things like taurine and glycine and glutamine and glutathione and selenium and zinc, all the specific vitamins and minerals that we know that your liver needs for both phase one and phase two detoxification. Now, if you've never heard about this before, I have a completely free course at stephencabral.com slash courses. Click on the detox course. It's completely free. Find out exactly what are the missing keys to helping your body heal. And that is actually opening up the detox and drainage pathways, especially all these people right now dealing with the fires and the smoke and in California or toxins anywhere you live in a city. So what I want you to do is kind of learn about that part. All right, we're going to open that up for anywhere between seven and 21 days, depending on the case, longer, the better, 21 days maximum. And then what we're going to do after that is move directly into the mold-based protocol. All right, so we support the liver, we're supporting the kidneys, and now we want to get right into the mold protocol. All right, so here's what it's going to look like, because it's just going to make it more effective if we open up that those liver and kidney-based pathways. I know everybody's going to say, the naysayers um, that are out there, of course, your liver is always detoxifying. I understand. What you want to look at is understanding how it's detoxifying and also why it's not able to keep up with 100% of everything the body's being exposed to. And I talk about that in depth in my book, The Rain Barrel Effect, as well. All right, so let's get into what is the mold protocol? It's three different products. Very simple, very straightforward, and easy to complete for both children and adults. And it all starts with a product called Mold X. But remember, you don't have to use these specific products. I like to open source things and tell people exactly how they work. So if you choose to use another product, that's okay as well. I'm just going to share with you how it works. All right. So inside of that product, you'll find rosemary leaf extract, rosemarinic acid. One of the most powerful herbal-based extracts can be used as an essential oil and so many other things to be able to kill exposure to mold and even things like candida and yeast because they're in the same family, right? Yeast, fungus, mold are in the same family. And then the rosemarinic acid, which is the actual extract, helps to kill that and break it down. And then, of course, bring it to the liver, which we'll talk about in a moment. All right. Additional support, golden seal, olive leaf, echinacea, sweet wormwood, also called artemisia, grape fruit seed extract. That's GFSE, not um, the GSE specifically. Chitosan, berberine hydrochloride, oregano leaf, thyme, clove, and yarrow. 
So you have predominantly 70% of those ingredients help to break down and kill and remove those mycotoxins. The other 30%, things like echinacea, actually help with the immune system of the body that we're going to be talking about in just a moment. So really powerful herbal-based product to give your body the support it needs to rid it of mycotoxins. Okay. But what happens next? As I was saying, as these things move inside of your fat tissue in and out, as well as inside of the blood, as you uh, gain exposure through airborne or through your gut, they're going to pass through the liver. Okay. So now what we need to do next is actually support phase two detoxification. So this protocol is meant to do alongside of something like the daily activated multivitamin or which provides you all the methylated B vitamins. So it's a full monthly vitamin and mineral. This product called daily detox support contains, I'm going to read them to you right now though, extra vitamin C and selenium, glutamine and acetylcysteine, glycine, taurine, alpha lipoic acid, very powerful antioxidant, L-carnitine, L-methionine, and then some Ayurvedic-based herbs as well for the kidneys and the liver, such as chlorella, the grapeseed extract, the dandelion root, artichoke leaf, uh, beetroot, bladder rack, etc. So what does this product do? Well, as we remove the mycotoxins from the blood and they are moved through the liver, then the liver's job is to then break those down from potentially fat-soluble uh, toxins, not all mycotoxins are fat soluble, uh, and then but move it through phase one, phase two, so that it can move it through the bile into the intestines, or it might be excreted through the kidneys. So the liver's job is to help though break down any toxic compounds in your body, just at a foundational base level. Okay, so now we have that, which is great. Now what else do we need? Well, as these harmful toxins make their way through the gut in the intestines, we can use a product called the universal binder. The universal binder contains sodium bentonite clay, so bentonite clay, humic acid, apple pectin, carbonized activated charcoal, taurine, fulvic acid, tudka, and bamboo shoot extract, which contains the silica. So this is an all-purpose low histamine binder because many people with mold and mycotoxin exposure have high levels of histamines that show up as allergies and asthma, et cetera, or skin rashes. So this is a great product to then be able to bind up what is being moved from the blood, from the liver, into the intestines, bind it up in the intestines so it's not reabsorbed, and then easily eliminated it through a bowel movement in the body. So really strong three-phase based system. And honestly, it works. It works remarkably well. You can use the Ecolife based mold uh, protocol or you can use your favorite practitioners and that's okay, obviously, as well. So here's what I want to share though. On top of this protocol, again, it's only three products and it's eight weeks long, so it doesn't kind of change your whole day, right? It's just three products and you go about a low uh, mold diet that we supply, we, we share with people. So any foods that would be more moldy, we, we do less of those. And then we also typically recommend the immunity protocol because one of the biggest things that your body needs to be able to do is after the mold protocol is over is to take over in terms of eradicating mold and keeping your immune system balanced, not suppressed, because mold and mycotoxins will actually start to suppress certain parts of the immune system and actually elevate others like Th2 dominance that I talk about in the rain barrel effect. So that's pretty simple though. That is additional vitamin C or a product called HistPro, especially if, high, if you have higher histamines. The second product is vitamin D3. Now the K2 is already in the daily nutritional support or it's in the daily activated multi, your choice. So that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then the third product is a zinc product. You can use balancing, which contains a little bit of copper if you need a little bit of copper to balance zinc or if you're a little higher in copper, if you've run that minerals and metals test, you can just use a product called uh, FM zinc, which is functional medicine zinc. That's just 25 milligrams of zinc. And so this then will allow your immune system the nutrients it needs as well to continue the uh, formation of strong, healthy white blood cells. And honestly, it, it can be that simple. So first, we find the source of the mold. We eradicate that food-based and or environment. Great. So that's step one. After that, detox, functional medicine detox, open up the liver and kidney-based drainage pathways. Excellent. So that's going to really help with overall inflammation and allow the body to go to work on its own giving it the nutrients it needs. Next, after seven to 21 days of that, we move directly into the mold-based protocol. 
the specialty mold-based diet, and ideally, we use the immunity protocol along with that. Now, that is it. That's straightforward. And after you're done with those eight weeks, you can start to taper the immunity protocol if you'd like or stay on it. That's up to you. Most people will need a little bit more vitamin D3 to just maintain if they're not maintaining a tan year round. And then you stay on your maybe daily foundational protocol, which is your daily nutritional support or your daily activated multi plus your omega-3 support and anything else that you may need. So that is it. That is straightforward. I've gotten lots of questions on this, but that's literally exactly what we do. I just taught this in level three of IHP. And so I wanted to share with you the nuts and bolts of that. If you ever have any questions though, it's a really great idea to work with an integrative health practitioner, level three. And what they can do is they can help you customize that protocol if you'd like. You can also run the mold mycotoxins test with them, or of course, Equalife as well, whatever works for you. That'll let you know if there is a potential mold uh, and mycotoxins issue. And then, okay, we'll walk you through this specific system. But it's always nice to be able to refer back to a podcast as well. And that can help you uh, work the process. And if you're interested, I can also do a whole podcast on low mold foods so that as you're recovering and you're reducing your overall histamine load as well, that could be beneficial for many people. So hopefully this was helpful. All the links today will be at stephencabral.com slash 3294. Now do keep in mind, I cannot link any nutritional supplements with any podcast. That's against FDA and FTC regulations. So we play by the rules. So unfortunately we can't do that. But my entire practice, uh, Equalife, is over at stephencabral.com slash shop. That just takes you over to Equalife. You'll be able to find the mycotoxins test there. Uh, you can find the mold protocol there, the immunity protocol, daily activated multi, whatever it is that you need. All right. So hopefully this was helpful. Again, the goal is to open sources for all practitioners, all people around the world. And then of course you can do with it what you see fit. Take care, buddy. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'll talk with you soon. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.